Hello, I'm Jesse and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about staff car camping. I have been staff camping for more than six years because my son was a competitive swimmer and I was his soccer mom. I would usually send him to trainings almost every day and then competitions stay on and cheer for him. Come on Eden, come on! During the idle time, I can work and at least take a nap. That was when I thought of converting my station wagon to a staff camper. The best thing is that we can pull a stop at any parks, car park, rest areas and sleeping without people noticing it. Let's start with the first in the list, the most crucial, the right car. MPV, SUVs, four-wheel drive and station wagons are ideal for car camping because of the space and also the elongated body where one or more people can comfortably sleep in it. There is a feature that is so important that many overlook. That feature is the flat folded car seat. If you are currently shopping for one, please make this a must-have. We want a daily driver's car that is ready to convert to camper almost instantly. We don't want to spend money to modify the car just to fit a bit and as it will cost money and also affect your resale value. Come, let me show you these two cars. This is a 2003 Lexus RX 300 SUV. Now, what happened once I flattened the back seat? Not 180 degree. I don't think you can sleep comfortably in there. Over here is a station wagon, Mercedes W124. Can you see the difference? Look at how flat you can even put a bed comfortably. When you shop and inspect for one, crawl in, lie down, and close the tailgate. Bring a mattress if you want. Other attributes like uh, height, four-wheel drive, fancy features are a matter of preference. Before the bed, we need privacy. If you are doing a staff camping, Nobody going to notice you sleeping in the car. With limited budget and unlimited creativity, I customized my blackout sheets with used cardboard, aluminum tape, and suckers. Deco with cool stickers as you please. Let me show you how I install it. It's actually pretty easy. That's it. To cover the front, I simply use sunshade. It doesn't have to look pretty. Now you have totally darkness, blackout. No sun rays coming in and you can sleep soundly. Now, this is the fun part, the bed. We don't install a wooden platform in a ready cramped cabin. 
What we need is just a comfortable mattress, pillow, and blanket. Before I put a mattress, I actually custom made a, again, from a cardboard. Um, this is actually from a 70 inch uh, flat panel TV, the box. So I save it and actually I cut it according to my the size. And uh, if you can see, I put a two layers. You know, it gives extra cushion. At the same time, it protects the carpet. Now the mattress, it fits perfectly the size. Uh, as you can see, it's perfect, yeah, uh, with a little bit of a headboard here. And all you need is a few pillows. From IKEA. So do you like this simple setup? If you already have old mattress, you know, you can uh, bring it in, you know, it doesn't cost a lot. Yeah? So this is uh, the beauty of having a flat a folded back seat. To complete the setup, these accessories are nice to have, yeah, like uh, the bed, folding table, you have your coffee setup, a container, of course, Babon's lantern, another lantern here, definitely a fan, power bank, fire extinguisher, you save lives, and of course, first aid kit. Finally, if you have extra budget or you need to carry a lot of stuff, uh, I would suggest a roof box. If you already have used up most of the space because of the bed, uh, you don't want to clutter it with bags, clothes, and shoes. So I bought the uh, wing bar roof rail and a Pacific 200 roof box. Uh, let me show you. It's a bit heavy. My God, I'm still able to carry this now. This is about 14 kg. Uh, it has a 460 liter of space, so you can chuck all the camping gears or anything, you know, your clothing and all that, your hiking bags, boots, everything in there. So like what I said, uh, save a lot of space. Yep, it's a nice to have. That's all you need for stealth camping. The whole idea is to go unnoticed whenever you pull a stop for a few hours or even a night to save hotel money. You can even use restroom and other facilities nearby. Now, if we car camp at campsite, uh, we just need add-ons like a car tent, awning, kitchen accessories like stove, camping chairs, tables, more power banks, water container, portable toilet tent, shower gadgets, uh, etc. Of course, if you have deep pockets, you can go for rooftop tent, which could cost more than 3000 US dollars. Remember, it will take more than one person to install and dismantle. Hence, you might not be able to drive the car on a daily basis, not to mention fuel consumption. I hope you find this video helpful and happy car camping. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe. Bye.